You guys, I am doing Bible study wall art. Hello everyone, I am Noah Staley and you're watching my channel. <laughs> um, if you all didn't know, I am now 17. My birthday was two days ago. Um, my father got me a beautiful unicorn tripod. Look at the head. The head pulls back and you can put the phone in. Oh, my earring fell out. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. So it has um, adjustable limbs, a cute tail. This is also adjustable. And to attach the head, um, you screw it like this. This is what the box looks like. My father bought it from Walmart. So I will put the link in the description. So this is going to help me record this video today. So basically, I'm supposed to be studying the four gospels and the book of Acts. So I will start with writing down the key events in each chapter on one page of cardstock. And I will draw an image or write a few sentences describing the major events of that chapter. I will start with Matthew chapter one through five. So let's begin with the principles. So calligraphy focuses on upward strokes and downward strokes, as well as how much pressure you need to apply to each letter to give it its own personality. So the basics are that when doing upstrokes, you want to make these lines have as little pressure as possible so that you can create thinner line. Now for downward strokes, it's actually the opposite, and these strokes will always be thicker and more bold. So in order to do this, the only thing you have to do is to add more pressure on your writing tool to help you create a thick and bold stroke. Now trust me, getting the hang of thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes takes a little bit of time but with the next basics you will get it in no time so you can also try and add a little bit more character to your writing by exaggerating the spacing between letters or you can also add swirls to the end of each letter to make it a little bit more fancy I want to do the cloud one for the banner all right so I'm gonna use a black pen and a purple pen for the outline Like some of it rubbed off. Oh, my hand. Sorry y'all, the tripod is shaking because the surface that I'm on, like the um, the table that I'm using, it's not very stable, so I apologize for that. You guys, I'm also using font space so I can type up the words that I want and they'll show me how to write the word in a certain font. I'll include the link in the description. An angel of the Lord comes to Joseph and tells him to move from Bethlehem to Egypt because the king, King Herod, um, was seeking to kill Jesus as a baby. So I'm gonna write that next. Bethlehem to Egypt.
So in the New Testament, the massacre of the innocents um, is the incident in the nativity narrative of the Gospel of Matthew 2, 16 to 18, in which Herod the king, king of Judea, orders the execution of all male children two years old and under in the vicinity of Bethlehem. After the slaughter of the infants, the angel of the Lord came to Joseph and told him to take his family from Egypt to Nazareth. I'm sorry, guys, that is not true. In the Bible, it says the angel of the Lord um, appeared to Joseph in his dream and told him, get up and take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who are trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph returned immediately to Israel with Jesus and his mother. But then he found out that the new ruler was Herod's son, Archelaus, and he was ruling over the land of Judea. And then in another dream, he was warned to go to Galilee. Move on to the next one. Some, you know, mistakes here and there. So I will do the other three right now. And you guys will see how I did. <laughs> Comment down below. Some more ideas for videos. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will make another video. Come on, focus. Come on, let's focus. So I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Is this bright? Why is it so dark? Really? In the nativity narrative of... In the New Testament, the massacre of the innocents is the incident... This is also adjustable.